as soon as you see it, you know exactly where you are. The Angel of the North is one of the most recognisable pieces of public art ever made. For two decades, it's welcomed travellers to Tyneside. But when Britain's largest sculpture first appeared on the horizon, it faced a hostile reception. They seem to have got hold of the idea all over the North, and all you have to do to bring down the price of bread and improve the economy at large is to erect vulgar, idiotic pieces of sculpture. Dump it here and there, form a sculpture trail, and in will come the tourists. I don't think it's true. And not just from southern posh art critics. It's a monstrosity, it's disgusting, and it's an insult to the people of Gateshead. This pile of rusty iron, it's an absolute carbuncle on the landscape. But over time, the angel has proved to be less hell-bent and more heaven-sent. There's a different feeling when you see it actually in, in the presence of it, you know? Quite spectacular. We think it's great, I mean, we think it's, it just caused you a bit. That's what, our, that's what a statue is about, isn't it, really? Some say this is the moment the tide turned, when Newcastle fans adopted the angel as their own. The giant steel structure gave Tyneside a national profile, and with that came millions of pounds worth of funding. Well, the Angel of the North really kick-started two decades of cultural regeneration seen across Newcastle and Gateshead, and really helped to lay the seeds of what's been a huge investment in world-class cultural and, and arts venues. Baltic Centre for Contemporary Art, Sage Gateshead, you know, the building of the Millennium Bridge. And so, for me, it really helps to epitomise that transformation of Newcastle Gateshead from being a post-industrial city in decline to being a really forward-thinking, dynamic place that we know it to be today. And it was that ambitious reinvention that was the focus of the Newcastle Gateshead bid to be European Capital of Culture 2008. But while the bid itself was unsuccessful, it was a shot in the arm for the North East. It really got the region's tail up, and Townside in particular, there was a pride and a self-confidence that grew as a result of that bid. And the programme that we submitted went on anyway, and I think that played a remarkable part in transforming what's been happening here over the last decade. The Angel's effect continues to this day. Not only is it one of the most viewed artworks in the world, but it's now become an icon for cultural regeneration. Sharina Saga, BBC Look North, Gateshead.